everyone, welcome to another episode of NickMcD.TV. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to install Boxy. Now that's with one X and two E's, no Y. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to boxee.tv to download the file. Click download and download for your system. Now the download should pop up and uh, if not just click here. Now I tried the open with and I kept getting a weird error. I don't really know what, 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 what was going on and on both machines I tried this on I kept getting an error but if I hit save file and uh, saved it and then I ran the the deb uh, package installer Oop. then I ran the deb package installer it worked just fine so just double click on it and then click install package since it's already installed on my machine it says reinstall but just click install package and you had now have boxy it's installed so what you want to do now is enter your username uh, you know, you have to create a username and password to log into Boxy. Uh, you have to have one to actually run the software. So create this here and sign up. To actually run it, go to Applications. And then it's going to be in Sound and Video. And then click on Boxy. Okay, it's going to ask you to log in. And since I've already logged in, it auto-logs me in. So you log in and then you'll be brought to this screen. There's a little how to get started video here which you could watch and it'll kind of show you how Boxy works and what to do. Now the easiest, uh, you know, the thing that I kind of wanted to use Boxy for is TV shows. So you can see it gives you a couple here. Uh, those are TV shows I was just checking out. You can also go over to TV show library and it gives you it kind of grabs all the TV shows from across the internet, Hulu, ABC, NBC, whoever hosts them, and it gives you this huge list of TV shows you can watch. So if you find one you like, hey Nova, you click on it, and it gives you a list of episodes. And you can see on the right hand side it gives you description, and you click it, and you can just hit play. And you can say it's played through Hulu with uh, ad supports. And if you like it, you can click add to queue if you want to watch it later. Um, more info for just info. Uh, you can mark it as you've already watched it, and shortcut, or you can share it with your friends. Hulu try, or sorry, uh, Boxy. Um, it tries to make itself very social, and you can share it with uh, the Boxy network, or on your Twitter, or all kinds of different things. Now, you hit Escape to bring up the menu or to go back. So if I'm, I'm on here, and I can see the two episodes, I hit Escape to go back. Hit Escape again, it brings up this menu. Down here it has, these are already presets, uh, these two were. It gives you uh, shortcuts to stuff you can uh, shortcut and you know, quickly access. Like if it's your favorite show, you can just you know, go bam and click on it. Now you can click on uh, your files, applications, TV shows, home, movies, music, and uh, photos. I don't know why I couldn't read that one. So click, for, you know, files is all the local files on your computer. And uh, you can just go through there. And you can find, uh, you know, what you want. Like I have uh, Abney Park here. So you can go through all the files on your computer. Your movies are pretty much that. Movies that are on my computer. Um, you also have uh, your music. And for some... Okay, it is showing up now. Good. So originally, I was having a difficult time to get my music to actually show up here. But it is now. I don't really know what happened, I guess the magic. So if you hit the backslash button, it takes you out of full screen mode. I kind of like this because occasionally I might need to do something. So go back, hit backslash and it goes back to full screen, out of full screen, back to full screen, out of full screen. That's kind of cool. Now if you're going to run this on just like your, your home computer, the one you do most of your work on, I don't really think it's worth it to run it on like you know your main computer that you just like do all your work and all that stuff on because it just doesn't seem worth it it seems a little slow you know and the mouse is a little bit laggy too I noticed the best way to navigate is with the keys um, the arrow keys which is fine but like I said it's it's not as fast as I want it to be to access my media truthfully the fastest way for me to access my media is to just uh, go to the home of my, my music folder and click on it. But if you're gonna run this on a media computer that you're gonna have set up, 
in your living room hooked up to your TV. I think this application is fantastic. I think it's gonna, it does a great job of what it's supposed to do. Other than the couple bugs, which I'm sure they'll work out quickly because I'm sure they're going to have to come out with a stable release uh, uh, soon because they're going to release the boxy box. I, I read in April. So for your media computer, this is awesome. I think you should definitely run it or at least give it a shot and see if you like it. But for your home computer, uh, for your main like workstation computer, I would say it's probably not worth it. It's just quicker if you want to just uh, you know go to where you want to go and click what you want to watch. I think that's a little bit faster. Thanks for watching NickMcD.tv. If you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them below. See you guys later.